one, two. Yeah. All right, I think we're a little bit... Uh, okay, Tom officially started. Uh, hello, everyone, this is my topic. Uh, Ukraine's Cultural Diplomacy Month, uh, three different years. Uh, but uh, first, let's get acquainted. Uh, some of you may know me... I'm Renvoy, first of all. Uh, some of you may know me as uh, Global CISOP. Uh, some of you may know me as a member of Ombuds Commission. Uh, but out of many hats I wear, uh, one of the most challenging, but at the same time, uh, one of the most interesting positions uh, was a manager at uh, Wikimedia Ukraine, an affiliate of foundation. And yeah, Ukraine is a country I've come from. Uh, so uh, and this small session is going to be about the a tale as about the biggest international editing contest we've organized and that might have changed the world Let's, slightly in the better place. Um, yeah. So it all started in 2021. Uh, in the midst of the global pandemic, uh, we've, as Wikimedia Ukraine, uh, thought about trying to replicate the success that we had with uh, our uh, photo contests. So everyone knows about Wikilove Earth, Wikilove Monuments, but we wanted to replicate something like that in the more of an encyclopedia style. Uh, so we've uh, partnered with Ukrainian Institute, uh, our governmental organization responsible for uh, several cultural pro projects that are related for a broad audience. And we thought that it would be a very nice idea to create a um, yeah, project that would cover all Wikipedias and basically if, like afford uh, editors to write about Ukraine's cultural affairs and famous people. Because culture is essentially what leads us together, what makes us all human beings and what unites us. So, um, yeah, yeah, 20, 2021 was quite successful. We got almost yeah, 800 articles, Wikipedia articles written, um, 700 Wikidata items, and uh, we thought, yeah, all right, this idea works. It's quite good, we got great response from community. So uh, we thought, yeah, why not to replicate it for the next year? So, yeah, 2022 came. Now, uh, I called it the year of ambivalence for some uh, yeah, reasons, but I will get to it. So um, a little bit of a sidetrack. So one of the most popular resources you can use to promote your campaign is by creating a Wikimedia banner. So that's what, yeah, we have a central notice admin in the room, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, by creating the banner, you can promote your campaign, anything, any campaign. So it could be photo contest, it could be editing contest, anything. Uh, of course, after approval. Uh, so the second edition of campaign was starting at 17th of February and ending in 17th of March. But even prior to that, I thought, well, why not to put the banner campaign, um, start the banner campaign exactly at 24th of February, 2022? Because I thought, yeah, it's in the middle of the contest, so it should be fine. Uh, but when you are preparing for your contest, something you, that you don't realize and you never consider is when something like this happens. And yeah, when in the morning in February yeah, uh, 24th, I woke up and, and this is the first site I saw. This is something you cannot prepare for any any day. Yeah, so, but despite this, um, and despite the start of the war exactly at the same day, um, contest continued. And we've got some some great response. We've got uh, almost four thousand articles written in sixty languages. Um, some some of the greatest uh, like support that we had ever. And uh, this was one of the most successful years of campaigns, uh, I guess. For the exception for the half of the year, we've been the only cultural project left in Ukraine like ever in whole country. It was the, the only project. 
So yeah, it's uh, thinking about it's crazy, and I call it the year of ambivalence because yeah, we got this great support, this great success from the community writing about other country, about other, other culture, but the purpose of that and the uh, starting point of that was and why the people wrote was quite horrible. It's a war that started. Um, but we've been moving along. Uh, 2023 came. Uh, so we've started a little bit to shaken up things a bit. Um, the and started to uh, first first of all we've uh, developed this special list of articles trying to fill certain gaps about certain cultural aspects in different Wikipedias. So I've personally got through all Wikipedias and tried to understand which of them have lacked which articles about what cultural aspects of Ukrainian culture and what people are missing. So um, yeah, it it and try to steer community into writing about the most important topics, not just about everything, just for the sake of, uh, for the sake of writing. Um, yeah, and also small wiki support. We've developed a um, list of articles, especially for small wikis, so they could just write about the most important articles. And a shout out to Wikimedia Malaysia for organizing the meeting, of flight meeting just down the road in Kuala Lumpur. Um, so yeah, just to support our contest, that's that's so great. Um, um, yes, so I won't try to um, pretty much um, bore you with uh, a lot of statistics, but these are the two um, great numbers I want to share. Uh, first is the articles created. It's six thousand articles created uh, during in a span of three years uh, in the campaign. It may not seem like too much because, yeah, English Wikipedia has like in thousands more, in thousand times more articles. But for us, it's great, uh, great purpose. And to get that such language in 89 language editions, to me, as like a little bit of language nerd, that's that's like a huge amount. It's, it's just huge. 27% of Wikipedias now have like more more articles about. Uh, most distinguished Ukrainian um, cultural things, uh, people uh, about the best films, about the best literature, about the best um, uh, works of art. Like that's that's so great, I think. And yeah, essentially, this is um, why I called it the content that changed the world a little bit. Because in the midst of such hard times, such harsh actions and military actions. That's something that um, essentially, yeah, in inspires us and uh, keeps us going, I think. Because, yeah, essentially culture is, as I said since start, uh, something that really unites us in a, in a way. Um, now, um, at the end of each campaign, we also send out the questionnaire. If you participated, you've definitely received an email from me asking to fill it out. And one of the questions that we ask is why? Why would you, uh, what's your motivation? Why would you write uh, articles about completely different country, about completely different culture in your Wikipedia? So um, we've got a response from the many responses, of course, uh, but I will leave you with this quote. Uh, this is the quote from a um, participant from Japan uh, that wrote something like this. Uh, I just wanted to show the solidarity for brave Ukrainian citizens fighting for their autonomy, although I know our Wikipedia activities are powerless. Tyrants, however, have always been afraid of pen. Thanks so much.